Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. It's Monday. You know that means we got some packages, and it's time for another mail call. All right, so Monday's here, packages, time to open up, see what we got. But first, guys, if you don't mind, um, you know you're going to like the video, so just go ahead and hit the like button now. It saves us a little time. We don't have to wait till the end to get it all there. The thumbs up really helps because it gets us in front of more eyeballs. More eyeballs means more ad revenue. And that ad revenue all goes to comics curing cancer that's right make sure you give comics curing cancer a follow on instagram we're coming into the con season lots of cool things coming up uh comics curing cancer you can check out this video here what is it if you don't know uh but essentially we're raising money uh for the american cancer society this channel has been doing it uh everything that we raise generate revenue wise it all goes to the cause because cancer is the ultimate super bill and it affects everyone but together we can save lives all right first up we got a package here from carnivore comics um i th i know i would i mean i know these are for me i th think i remember what this is um i i think that these are ultimate spider-man books um, I was, I had stumbled across some more covers. Gosh, darn it. What is going on here? Oh, okay. So they confused me. So there's this tape here. So my assumption was that this opened here in the middle, but that's not what it is. In fact, the tape was here and this was a flip top lid and I just cut through the entire lid. <laughs> I don't know why then there was a piece of tape that went across that way. All right. Well, anyways, so I, I was, we were, I was on a discussion and we were talking about, uh, some ultimate comics or ultimate Spider-Man books. And I was looking at my CLZ app and I noticed a cover or two and I thought, wow, I didn't saw those covers. Those are pretty awesome. I want those and looked them up, found them available at Carnivore Comics. So this is uh, the Del Auto Ultimate Comics or Ultimate Spider-Man issue one, first printing, mind you. Uh, this is the trade dress version. You can see it's actually a landscape. This fighting doc. Oh. And this is, uh, comes with a little COA limited to a print run of three, sorry, 3000. And then the Virgin variant, uh, this was available as a set. This is limited to a print run of 1000. So these were still available over on, uh, like I said, these are first prints and they were still available over on, uh, Carnivore Comics. Then while I was there, I also stumbled across this book, and I had no idea that this was foil. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, this is Transformers number one in a virgin foil variant. Woo! Limited to a thousand copies. Yes, Optimus there. Starscream in the background. That is sweet. I had no idea it was foil. Oh, man, no. There is a minor... A minor ding on the spine, on the foil. And that does not press out worth a damn. But, hey, you know, it's alright. It's cool. Uh, they don't guarantee 9 eight. So if you want to do that, you got to pay for that. So, uh, this was um, Ryan Berry... Uh, cover uh, foil virgin transformers all right cool all right so those oh man the ultimate spider-man i love the del auto uh that is just great all right next up i got a box here this is from uh silver age collectibles uh of course purchased from them on uh ebay um quite frequently um 
has a variety of claim sales throughout the week. Uh, this should be all a run of books for me. Uh, nothing for the um, <clears throat> giveaway bin. Uh, unless, of course, I ended up getting duplicates. All right, so let's pull this out. Sack of books. So it's got packing paper, uh, bubble wrap wrapped around it. All right. Yeah, these are for, these are for me. So we have some Bronze Age horror, House of Secrets, one forty-four. Two more macabre masterpieces. Uh, one forty-two. How do you kill an immortal man? The answer lurks within. That is a good question. Well, we actually we know. You take his head, right? Highlander showed us that. There can be only one. Uh, House of Secrets 134. So these are all reader copies. You can see they got some... Uh, this this one's actually pretty rough along here. Low, lower grade. But I didn't pay... I think these were like... No, five to ten bucks for some, depending upon the book uh, for some of these, so... Yes, the referees cannot. He's you did. You outdid. One thirty-two. One twenty-nine. Some of you all been asking me if I actually read these because I've been getting so many of them. Uh, so I have read some of them, uh, and it is my goal to eventually come back around and read more of them. But I only get so much reading time in a given week, uh, and I'm a I've talked about it before. I'm a slow reader, um, 121. I don't know if it's... Uh, I never was diagnosed with a reading issue, but um, I, my kids... Well, one of my kids has dyslexia, so it's very possible that they got it from me and that I do have some issue that might explain why I'm a slow reader. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, um, I'll get around to them. Oh, this one I love. Hanged Man... With another man committing suicide. It's like, everybody's turned around looking at the hanged man. Because you can see the shadow being cast. Meanwhile, this guy's being thrown? I don't know. If he's being thrown, there's a guy up here in the uh, balcony where he's coming from. <laughs> Anyways, pay no attention to the man coming down. Here you go. This is for all you Canadians out there. Watch out. The figure skater's getting chased by dead hockey players. This one's a classic cover. I've seen this cover a lot of times reference. Hauling away that casket. And there we go. Here's another one. That's uh, 111. And then I think this is 110. Yeah. Another great cover. Look at that. So yeah, nice stack of Bronze Age horror books. Happy with those. Those go along well to the collection. And uh, that brings us to time for Slabby Dabs. So we'll take a look at some Slabs. So, um, so one of these uh, is from... Uh, short box and then this but this first one uh i actually found this book on ebay uh but i did not purchase it from ebay i love when uh retailers list you know when you look at somebody and you realize that they're that look like it's a retailer or whatever and you look at their um their about them stuff and they give you information about their store or whatever and so i was able to look up the store on the internet and sure enough, they sell everything through their website as well. I was able to find the book. The book was less expensive on uh, their website than it was on eBay because eBay, they're marking it up to cover for fees. So I was able to purchase this directly from the menu, from from the company, still get buyer protection from my credit card or PayPal because I'm doing a business transaction through a business website. Um, I just don't get the eBay protections. And I was willing to take that risk. It wasn't an expensive book. Uh, this is uh, this book was like one hundred and twenty dollars. Um, so this is uh, as I've been working on 
those Captain America books. Uh, we've been talking about I'm working on uh, 101 through 126 in high grade. Uh, the vast majority of them, or all of them 8.0 or higher. The vast majority of them have been 9.0 or higher. Uh, so this is another one of those books. Uh, looked well packed, so it was packed in the box with packing paper uh, and newspaper, and now we've got it bubble wrapped inside of a bubble mailer. So, yeah, we'll cut through this. I'll remind you guys again, if you haven't yet already, please, again, hit that thumbs up button. It helps us out. Uh, if, or if, you're, if you're not subscribed to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well or become a channel member. Uh, all that channel membership, again, also goes to Comics Curing Cancer. All right. There we go. Good. Get this out of here. Boom. This is Captain America 124 in a 9.4. Look at that. It is... Considering all the black that's along there, uh, this is uh, Nick. This is not a uh, key. It just says Nick Fury, Dum Dum Dugan, and Modok appearance. Um, what is fun about some of these older books is to take a look at them and see what gets, what can occur, and still get you a nine four. So this has a couple minor small spine ticks it doesn't have a very sharp corner up here uh it does have the beginnings of some chipping along the top um and it is a little bit dirty uh, along the back side um but Nine four off white the white pages. This is a recent grade. I know it's a recent grade because there's a QR and CGC has only recently been doing the QR code. So there you go. Nine point four, bang. Nice. I stumbled into a trap. Sudden death in front and behind me. All right, last one up here. Um, <clears throat> We'll get into this. This one is short boxed. Uh, of course, short box is an app um, for buying and selling comics. Is it any better than eBay stuff? I don't know. I think that the, they do some cool stuff, but uh, when it comes to the pricing uh, and stuff, the pricing lately has been. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's been up on Shortbox for a while that's not being maintained, and the pricing is starting to get out of whack given that the market has come down um one of the negatives i would say about short box is because it's an anonymous uh, seller uh platform you have no idea who's selling the book um there's no method for you to reach out and contact them so if somebody's got a book that you want but they're super high priced yes there's an ability to make an offer but for the most part most people have it set where you cannot make an offer that's greater than 75 percent of what they're asking um, so if they're asking a hundred dollars uh, and the slab is only worth fifty dollars the lowest you can offer is 75 and i'm just not gonna do i'm not that guy who's gonna go okay well we'll just pay 75 and overpay still no. So it kind of stinks from that standpoint. There's no way to just send them a message and say, like you can on eBay, I can send a message to the to the seller and say, hey, I know that you don't, you're not taking offers or whatever else, but this is what I see. Would you be interested? And at least sometimes you get somebody who goes, yeah, sure. And sometimes they go, no. Anyways, but there are other cool things with uh, Shortbox that I do love. Shortbox, most for most, giving you uh, the buyer pricing of recent sales right there on an item so when you're viewing an item that's for sale you can see is that price out of whack you don't have to leave the portal to go there so that is kind of cool so this is uh captain america 105 in a 9.2 we got in the name of batrock so this is uh batrock swordsman and living laser appearance uh is just the note and again here we have a book that is uh you know this is nine two there's you can see there's some i try and get it without getting my lighting on there but there's some significant um waves 
there on that book. But other than that, it's pretty clean. There's a sh the dull co dull corners, um, but it is a clean looking book. I almost thought I saw this. I almost thought that was a crack for a second, and then I realized, nope, that's just the art on the book. So there you go. Uh, two more Captain America books to the co to the collection. Only a couple more remaining to get that complete run of. No, I shouldn't say complete run. That run of 101 through 126. Um, that t basically takes you to the 19. Uh, 1970s, because this is 124, and we're in April 1970, so it takes us to the summer of 1970, um, which is our end of the uh, Silver Age, so beginning of the Bronze Age. So there you guys go. Uh, let me know down below. Comment. Let me know what you thought. Uh, Bronze Age horror. What do you think of those Spider-Man books? The cat books? That Transformers? <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for watching and appreciate all the love you guys have been doing to the channel. Uh, make sure you give us a call, follow again over at Comics Curing Cancer. Uh, big stuff coming up this summer and into the big event, which will be taking place uh, at the first weekend in October this year uh, when we have our multi-day online event and auctions. So, guys, thank you all so much. And until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.